Hey guys, it's Fred here with Lightspeed Construction. Um, up on a roof here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Way off the beaten path. Um, I've found several things on this roof so far. Uh, the roof is leaking. The thing is, um, it could be leaking from, I mean, one of a hundred different places. This roof is in pretty bad shape. Um, I'm on the upper slope right now. It's a, it's a low slope. Um, probably a 312. I'll double check that before I go though. Um, and I just want to show you kind of the stuff I found on this upper part. This is just a small a small area, probably 12 foot by 12 foot, just a small square. Um, first thing I noticed <coughs> is that the shingles are completely misinstalled. As you can see, you got a union right here, and another one right here, here, there, 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 there. Um, that is backwards from how it's supposed to be done. It's supposed to be stair-stepped the whole way. So you have one here. And you go six inches over, have another one. Six inches over, have another one. And then that way, basically the roof is kind of one solid unit. When you do it like this, you literally have rows up and down of shingles. So they stagger back and forth about three inches. But this whole area right here is one big row of shingles. This is one big row of shingles. Um, you know, you're supposed to bring these to this line right here. Uh, which is that one's not too bad but the further and further you get down the roof you notice it gets further and further off some of these are pretty pretty bad you can see how big how big of a gap that is right there lots of moss on the roof um as you can see when i picked that up there's really nothing holding it down anymore there's just no uh what do you want what's the word there's no tar left on it that's actually it holds them together as you can see that is a that is a nail right there it's completely rusted out um go over here it's another nail completely rusted out. Rusted out. That one's rusted out. Um, and I know that the wind's blowing these up. And look at, see, here's a stick stuck underneath the shingle. Not really a stick, but it's something. It used to be a stick. Look, you lift this up, they all lift up. This is such bad. This is so bad. Oh my lord. And I've noticed a lot of nails right close to the unions. They should not be that close. Um, there's another rusted nail. Not much left on it. Sorry I'm sniffling. It's pretty cold out today. Um, yeah, so this whole area right here looks pretty rough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to get down. I'm going to go over this section and this section down here as well. One more thing I didn't, I didn't mention was, uh, these hip and ridge shingles. Um, as you can see, they are not hip and ridge shingles. These shingles are not meant to do this. Uh, these shingles are what you would use on the roof. They're not hip and ridge shingles. They're not meant to be bent like that um, You can see there's a there's a hole in one right there You got a nail sticking out right here, which I'm sure that might cause a leak um, There's another nail getting ready to come through right there. It's cracking um, And these are starting to crack it and it, these will come loose right here and break underneath and start leaking from underneath because water can drain right underneath these so um this is a, a big, big no-no. You never use roofing shingles for the hip and ridge. So, um, yeah, let me get, get down real quick. Okay, guys, I'm down here on this lower part. Um, there's a couple of major, thing, major things wrong with this. Um, I'll go ahead and flip the camera. Number one, their pipe boots are installed incorrectly. Uh, I, I did lift up on the corner of this, but it's so brittle I didn't want to mess with it because I didn't want to break it. But <clears throat> they're... This pipe boot is basically installed underneath all of the shingles, so, um, and that's why they've sealed all this stuff around here, um, basically because it's leaked before in the past, because it's installed incorrectly, um, as you can see, the, the rubber's starting to crack on it, it's dry rotted, um, on this section of roof right here, uh, same thing, it's, all the shingles are installed incorrectly, um, they're starting to slide down the roof as well, um, which is going to cause major problems. I'm not sure if you can see, hold on, the gap in those shingles is because they're, they're kicked down and they're starting to slide. See how this one's a little bit lower than the other one, and this one's lower than that one, and so on. Um, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about if I can get up on the floor. It's so slick on this roof. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to lift this dang thing. Where's it at? There it is. Okay, so you can see that this is where the nail was actually nailed in. But it's up here because the shingle, so the nail stayed in the same place, but the shingle has slid down, cutting that groove into the shingle. Because it is actually sliding 
same thing right here. You can kind of see on that one how it's cut a line into the into the shingle. Um, that's because this whole area right here, the, all these <clears throat> are starting to slide down the roof. Um, that's going to be a really big problem as well. Um, I didn't really check up in here, but I would say it's not flashed correctly because over here they use what we call angle angle flashing, which people don't use anymore because it causes so much problems. It's basically just a solid piece of metal that goes up behind this and goes underneath the shingles. Well, that water can get back behind it under the shingles and on the roof. So what you need is you need a piece of step flashing underneath every single shingle. Um, that's really what you what you need. Um, and I did lift some of these. Which ones was it? Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can turn flash on. As you can flip it upside down. As you can see back in there, there is metal, but there's no step flashing. There's zero step flashing in that one. Or in that one. Um I think no, I didn't lift that one. It was this one, this one, oh yeah, and this one. So no flashing at all back there. Or step flashing anyways. So that's gonna cause problems inside. Um <clears throat> We'll go over here, turn that flash off. Oh, this is a, this is a huge no-no as well. As you can see, this whole area is soaked. If you lift those shingles up, the, the nails are almost completely gone. They're rusted out. That's because all the water coming down here is just splashing on this corner. Um, this should have a 90 on it, at least kicking it down and away from this wall. Some people actually run a 90 down and then run a pipe all the way down and into their gutter just to keep all that water off your roof. The more, you know, the the more water you can keep off your roof, the better. Um, but this is all kind of soft through here. Um, it's not bad. It's not completely rotted out. But it is, you know, another year. And it probably will be. Um, as you can see, this pipe boot is just like that one over there. It's installed incorrectly. You got moss all the way up through here. And I did check this side too. There's no, there's no step flashing at all. Um, and all the nails are rusting out. This roof is um, beyond past its prime. <clears throat> see, I can... see, I mean, I lifted that up so easy. I mean, really, that was just literally lifted it up. It shouldn't do that. You should really have to work at trying to pop those up. So those are those nails are starting to rust. Uh, let's see. Um. Good lord. These, these these shingles here are starting to, they're cupping real bad um, this is a transition from one from one slope to another but when they cup like this it can hold water and water can go in between these unions right here same same with this right here I mean look at all <laughs> look at all the debris in, but you shouldn't have stuff under your shingles and look at this I mean that should not be there. So, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to hop on the front roof, check that one out. And I'll finish the video on that side. Thanks, guys.